This is 6514 65th Way in West Palm Beach. It's a sandalwood townhome and it's located in a very private location. As you can see, a lot of well manicured landscaping around here. And uh, one of the things I like about this property, you see it's got this walking path that I'm standing on that goes all down the canals and the lakes through this neighborhood. So this unit does not face the parking, it's the private location. To get to the unit you would walk down here and around back to your parking space. So with that said, let me take you inside. I'll give you a brief tour of the interior of the property and show you the features. One of the things I like about the Sandalwoods, they've really done a nice job of maintaining these uh, fences around the patios and the new siding on the side looks beautiful. Now this unit has the private courtyard. As you can see there's plenty of room for your uh, furnishings out here. And each bedroom upstairs has a balcony. Now that's the master over the living room. And then over here we have the guest or second bedroom over the kitchen and dining area. There is a covered shed area here for storage. And if you've ever lived in a townhome, it's always nice to have a dry place to keep maybe a bicycle or some of your lawn and garden tools, that sort of thing. There's also a place for a garden hose there. Another nice feature, you'll notice that this unit comes with the accordion hurricane shutters. So it's super easy to just close them up in the event of an approaching storm. Now when you first come into the unit, I'll give you an idea again of the layout inside and then I'll walk you through it. I'm standing here in the living room and as every room comes with a patio, it's very bright. Here's your stairs upstairs. Here we have a, uh, a closet that goes storage underneath the stairway. We've got a bathroom here. I'm standing in the dining area. And this is your kitchen. So let's go ahead and start with the tour. One of the things I like about this kitchen is it's a part of the dining area. It's got a bar area with a pass-through and a real nice connected feeling when you're standing at the sink. You've got an idea what's going on in the other room as well as what's going on in the dining area. And you have a lovely view out your window of uh, nice landscaping. The appliances GE are in newer condition and the built-in microwave is a nice touch as well. Ice maker in the refrigerator and the uh, the refrigerator comes with the large glass crispers as well as the glass shelves. Tile floors throughout the ground floor are a nice touch as well. And in this downstairs bath you've got your side-by-side -side washer and dryer with plenty of uh, cabinet space above it so your guest bath looks really nice. Okay, well, let's uh, take you upstairs and show you the rest. You'll notice it's a, it's a very nice Berber carpeting as you go up the stairs. And when you get to the top of the stairs, I'll give you an idea of the layout here. This is your second or smaller bedroom and it has a private bathroom. And then here's your larger or master bedroom. And while we're here, why don't we go ahead and have a look at it. So here is the master suite, and if you were to put your bed somewhere around here, that would be your view of the walking path and the waterway. Really nice. Another nice feature is the organizers that are built into the closet. And you can kind of move them around however you like. That's a nice feature. And of course the wall-to-wall -wall mirrored closet doors are a nice touch. So the master shower is all glass enclosed and there's dual vanities as well with some drawers in between. Over here we have the master and I'll just point out there's your central vac port on the wall. Nice touch. Lots of closets. That's four mirrored panels right there so when they're closed you really get a nice uh, effect. And there's the view as well. Some people call these smokers balconies. They're not real big, but they're pleasant to just step outside and get a breath of fresh air. 
Let's take a look at the master, or I'm sorry, the second bath. It's got the under vanity lighting, which is a nice touch. Fully enclosed tile around the shower, and it looks like it's got a rainforest shower head there. And uh, that is the private bath. If you're interested in the home, please contact the agent in the listing. We'd love to talk with you more about it. Thanks for watching.